Hi everybody, welcome back to Dub's Cool Finds. Um, I bring you some hauls, I bring you some travel videos, travel tips, um, all different things. So I hope you like my content. Um, if you do, please subscribe below and hit the like button if you liked it. Hopefully you did. Um, and then leave a comment if you want, um, just to tell me, hey, hi, um, you like this video, you don't like it, um, any tips? maybe for um, what I'm doing right or wrong in my videotaping and um, just be kind is all I ask you know we need that in the world today okay so my last Timu haul I said I would update you on some of the items that I ordered I don't have it with me right now but I did order one of the um, rings it was a little silver one with um, a little opal part in the middle um, that one did turn my finger green so I don't recommend that one um, if you check out my Dollar Tree haul um, from earlier this earlier um, then you will see that I showed you the ring and I showed you what I did to my finger and you can go from there uh, this ring is a Timu ring so far nothing so and I, I've worn this exercising um, during the day all the time I don't take it off um, I've worn it in the shower and still nothing bad happened this is also a Timu ring and again it has not turned my finger green neither of these were marked as 925 sterling silver but like I said they're they're behaving so that's awesome um I don't like to worry about my rings I just like to put them on forget them and then go for it this is one this one I love uh, this is not Timu related but this I bought on a carnival cruise as a birthday present to myself and I just look at those colors I mean that's like the ocean so I love it um, if you're getting to know me you know that I love the ocean also there's Bella Bella's not gonna say hi today because we did our morning walk and she's exhausted so um, if you watch previous videos you know I'm trying to stay accountable to my new routine and this is the 17th day that we have done our morning walk of one and a half miles that we do down by the lake and around the little harbor and stuff um, and I do an afternoon walk up again another one and a half miles but I do that on my treadmill in the house because this is DFW and it's starting to get hot. I don't want her feet on the hot pavement. I don't want to be out in the heat, so I do that one on the treadmill. So, okay, enough about me. Sorry to be jabbering. Um, okay, one thing I purchased was this cool little uh, pump, not the bottle, just this pump part. I bought three of them, uh, four of them actually. I was going to use them for like shampoos and stuff, and then that didn't quite work out with the sh shampoo I currently, bottle I currently have. But then I decided to try it on my little coffee skinny mixes and it works perfectly. It fits in there perfect. Um, it probably could go a little lower, but it's it's really good for right now. I just noticed it's a little short, so I might need to order a taller one when I get down to the bottom. But for now, I put them on all of my little, little mixes and it looks like a little Starbucks coffee thing. So I did a little short on how to get these open, um, but uh, I love them. So that's a yes. I purchased these tweezers because I find that I buy tweezers and they just don't get the little fine hairs or different things that we start to get as we get a little more um, wiser, mature. <laughs> so anyway, these are hit. These are working. A very nice grip to them and I love them. Um, what else? Oh, okay. So I bought this little handy dandy gadget. It is a bag sealer. This thing works amazingly. It just takes two batteries. It's got a magnet, so I just put it up on the side of my fridge. All you have to do is squeeze down on it, pull it across, and it's sealed. So this is one I did with it, and that's sealed. So that was a great purchase and one I recommend. Another one is my little microwave. Um, magnetic cover for cooking in the microwave uh, it does fit in my microwave and the magnets do work I have noticed though that there's a circle on the top of my microwave mine uh, that is not metal so I can't stick it just in the center of the microwave but if I position it just right to the side of that circle it does fit in there it does stick up on the top waiting for me to need it and when I've used it it's been awesome it's got these little valves in it 
and it's just been a great purchase. I think I paid like $3.58 or something for this, so that was a great purchase. And then lastly, on my updates, is this little bag. I purchased this little bag. It's got a little, somewhere, handles in here. So I purchased it to keep in my car. And it's just got things I want in the car when I'm doing my Uber Eats drives on the weekend or long trips or just to have with me, just little things that I think of, oh, I wish I had that with me. So I packed it with, you know, some floss. I've got my uh, Refresh Eye Drops in there. I've got some Blistex and some ChapStick. Uh, there's lots of pockets. There's more pockets here. Uh, the same thing on this side. I haven't even filled those yet. Inside, I've put my little cleaning wipe cloths that help with my windows. So I've got them in there. I got those at Dollar Tree. Um, I keep in here this handy tool. I used to work for that company for a while, so um, they were giving these away, and this is one of those things that everybody should have. Um, it can hook on somewhere in my car with this um, Velcro, but I don't want to attach it. So I have one in my little compartment next to my seat, and I have this one in my bag, but it breaks glass if you are in an accident and need to escape your car. It also can cut your seat belt or anything else you might need to cut while you're in your car. Um, I keep a notepad just for different things. If I'm listening to a podcast and they recommend a great book or a great movie or a TV show, I write it down because, you know, memory. So, <laughs> um, again, from that same little company, um, they were handing these out, and these are really cute. I got a whole bunch of them at one point, um, and then I handed them out to family and friends, but they're just little Band-Aid holders. So, in addition to my first aid kit in my car, I just keep that right next to me handy. Um, I keep a little bottle of deodorant because you never know. This is Texas and it's really hot out and sometimes you need a little extra something something. I got this at Dollar Tree. That I got that at Dollar Tree. I got this also at Dollar Tree. It's a little manicure set because I notice when I'm in the car is when, you know, I'll be carrying somebody's bags. I chip a nail or something and then it just bothers me and I want to file it down or cut it down. And so I have that with me, you know, dollar twenty-five. What the heck? Um, I have one of these. It's you see, it's well loved, well used. Uh, it's got a little magnifying glass in there, and then it's got um, the little screw, tiny, tiny screwdrivers. It's a glasses repair thing, but I, I like it just for if I happen to need something in my car or something I'm playing with that happens to need tiny screwdrivers. This will work. Um, you know, I don't want to scare my clients, so we've got some breath mints. <laughs> We got that. Um, I have a bit of uh, asthma and, and different allergy stuff, so I carry my inhaler in there. Um, again, that's when I notice when I'm in the car that I notice that, oh, wow, your hands are really dry or my skin's dry or something. So I just bought this at Dollar Tree, a little lotion. You'll see those in my Dollar Tree hauls. And this is just a pen, you know, for my pad of paper. And then there's, there's, there's many more pockets in here I can fill. Oh, I keep my... Um, little headphones in there in case I need them and um oh I just had a couple little extra Zantac so in case I get a heartburn or something when I'm out I keep that in there um and that's about it but it has lots of pockets you know there's there's a zippered one another zippered one an interior one without a zipper all the side pockets I think this was a great investment again I think this was three or four dollars so um not bad for the price and like I can take it in the house with me so nothing gets attacked by the bad heat here in the summer in your car things can just instantly melt in your car here when we get into triple digits so I think this is a great little purchase so those are all my recommendations from my last haul but I got another one so let's dig into this baby um, while my Bella is so interested Oh, she gets so knackered from those walks, but she acts like a puppy, and she gets all excited about her walk, and she gets all excited if there's somebody there who will pet her, be kind enough to pet her. Um, she's an American Staffordshire Terrier, so some people will not come up to her or will walk far away from her, but some people will come up and pet her, and she's extremely people-friendly, so makes her day, but she's 12 and a half, so the walks do kind of, <laughs> kind of uh, wipe her out. So our first little purchase, oh, and I'm sorry, this time I forgot to go get the prices. I will try 
and put them in the comments. Um, so hopefully when I'm editing this, I got a new editing software my son sent me, so I'm able to, to edit a bit now. So be patient with me. I'm still learning, um, but hopefully we'll get that to work. And um, when I'm editing, maybe I'll remember to go and put the prices down for you, but nothing in here was much at all. Um, I tried to stay pretty inexpensive, except for I think the shirt was a little more and... Um, some of the items were a little more, but this was not. This was very inexpensive. This is just, it's just plastic. It's a cheap old plastic, but it'll go on my stove because um, a regular spoon holder, one spoon in it or one, you know, uh, tool that you're using in your cooking, this will hold a multitude. So you just put your tool in there and it'll sit there on your little drip pan there and collect any mess from being on your stove so i think that one is a good investment and i you know it's gonna work because you know it doesn't do anything this i'm trying to get a couple more items in for my youtubing so i saw this on there and i thought i'd give it a shot it's a selfie stick integrated tripod with selfie light um it's wireless it's got an led light it shrinks to 18.5 centimeters and expands to 71 centimeters. So that is what it came in. There were a couple, again, if you've been watching me, you know I try to stay relatively inexpensive. I don't think I've ordered anything over five or $6. But um, this one though, I had a uh, huge credit on my account of 20 something dollars so this was technically all free because my credit used to purchase this I only purchase around $20 every time which is the minimum if you haven't been on Timu there is a minimum order of $20 but all shipping is free uh, they have a 90-day return policy the one item I returned I asked for a Timu credit within seconds and I mean literally seconds um, I had my credit and they said don't return the item keep it so that was easy but they do have free shipping free returns on your first return per order okay and the other thing why I have that many credits is if they tell you the date of delivery and they miss that date they instantly without you doing a thing credit you five dollars um, and then um, every day I go in what you do is you go into the Timu app you click on you you click on your orders go down on every order I, I mean I go on every order I've made I think you have 30 days so once it's past 30 days you won't be able to do it anymore but click on your order and then there's a couple lines in there that say you know return an item or, or different things if you see price adjustment that means something in your order is less expensive at that point in time click on price adjustment it'll automatically show you the items show you the amounts um, click on Timu credit which is your fastest and then it will automatically in less than three seconds um, you will get your credit into your account for those price adjustments and it's all automated except for you having to go into your order click on price adjustment and then have it process do that on every order every order that's still within your 30 days check every day sometimes you don't see the price adjustment um, item there that means there are none if you see it something is less less money at this point in time and you can get a price adjustment so $20 over $20 and I just today I just did some more I think it was just around 40 or 50 cents but every little bit helps so this item comes with a handy dandy little booklet on uh, instructions so you know you can see my little instructions which I'm gonna have to read because I've never had one of these um, but let's see it so it comes in this little plastic so it's got okay all right this opens up to hold your phone does it increase Yes, so it does grow bigger to fit your phone. That looks like it's the LED light. Um, here's your tripod. Okay, and then somehow, somehow it extends. <laughs> um, after I play with this, um, I will let you know how it, oh, there we go, a little bit. Okay, there we go. Oh, 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 okay, so. It's, it's quite tall. So that will be awesome. 
So yeah, hopefully this is amazing. Um, and then I, the selfie thing, um, I'll have to figure it all out. But And it compacts pretty dang nicely once you squeeze it all in like that. I can put it in my little to-go bag if I'm going on a trip or put it in my luggage. And um, it was relatively inexpensive. Again, I'll try and put the prices um, down below. Oh, and it did come with a rechargeable, you know, USB. So everything almost comes with rechargeable USB. Oh, the other thing I did order was this mouse. It's got pretty colors on it. It is charge rechargeable. And I have had this thing probably a week since I've charged it. And I work, you know, eight hour days on my computer during the week. So great purchase. It's just a, a poor guy. Um, and again, going with the theme of improving my YouTubes and my travel videos, because I love to go on cruises. Um, and I love to give you tours of the ship or let you hear the ocean at night with the waves going or show you different things that are really cool. And I wanted to up my game. So I've got the selfie stick to help me out. And now I have a wireless microphone and I had to go wireless because and that's why I had to buy that tripod not the ones with the microphone added because I have a Samsung and the Samsung the newer ones no longer have a plug-in for headphones which I despise but they don't have that so I couldn't use the ones that were with the tripods because they all plugged into your phone whereas this is a wireless so hopefully this will work out it says live show interviews you know, vlogging. Yeah, I'll be doing lots of interviews. Um, <laughs> anyway, uh, it comes with two of them. I'll show you. It comes with two of them. And then you've got your little, um, like a toggle. I think it's like a toggle that you put into your phone. So as you see on the bottom, it goes into the bottom of the phone um, to give you that connection. I ordered the one that works with Samsung. So you've got that and then your little microphones. Oh, they're so cute. They're so tiny, which is nice. And they come with a little clip. You see the clip on the bottom so you can hook it to your clothes. It's got a nice little cover on it, soft cover on it. Um, and there's the on off switch right there. So hopefully these will be a nice addition. Will help with my sound quality. I hope the sound quality is okay. Let me know. And um, we'll see how that works. There's directions behind it. So there's the directions in there. And then here is your, your charging cable. So I'm excited for that. I know the littlest things throw me, but I think that's, why I stay a more positive person because I let the little things make me happy. Okay, this is rose red in color and they have a multitude of colors. But when I travel, which you know, I love to, uh, probably I'm annoying by now talking about that. I'm not sure what those are for. I have to figure this all out, but this goes on the handle, you know, your handles of your luggage pull up. This goes on the handle of your luggage, and then it is like a water water bottle holder or a drink holder. You Well, that one's big. So you can get a nice size drink in there or a smaller drink or water bottle, and then it just hooks on there and holds that for you. So when I'm traveling through the uh, airport by myself, I can have my drinks with me and I don't have to worry about having them in my hand. And there's also a little pocket here that you could put, you know, maybe your passport or something in that you have to be easily accessible or, you know, um, charge card, anything you feel safe putting in there while you're going through the airport. And it folds up into nothing so you can put it back in your luggage when you're not using it. And I think that is adorable. It kind of matches my luggage. and. I just thought that was a really interesting invention. Okay, next item, kitchen. We're going back to the kitchen. Um, this is a slicer, and I just thought it would be good for onions. I hate trying to hold it, and while you're trying to slice through the onion, everything's falling apart, so I thought I'd give this a shot. It has got this cute little heart protective cover on it. Got these little pins in it. And then you stab that into the onion and it's sliced between the rows. 
So I thought I would give it a shot. I think this was just pennies, but again, I'll try and put the prices below. I was going to price them all for you before I opened it all, and I completely forgot in my excitement <laughs> to show you everything. Actually, more my excitement to get into everything, but okay. Uh, this is a shirt. Um, it is gray. I got it in an extra large because I noticed that the other shirt I bought ran a little small. Um, and I'm still working on my exercise and diet routine. And if it does eventually become too large, if you recall on a previous haul, I um, hauled that little um, sweater. I thought I still had it in here, but I think I put it away. Um, um, not sweater, t-shirt or scarf ring that you can um, use to attach your scarves. Or you can use it on the side of a t-shirt and kind of pull it through and, and make it a little smaller for you. So... This is a tank top, and I just loved the design. Um, it says beaches, booze, and besties. But I think this was like three or four dollars, so I had to get it. I mean, look at that summer, great. It'll be great for walking down by the lake. Um, they normally do not put a tags in it on the back, which is nice in my opinion, because then I don't have to have something scratching my neck it is sewn really nicely so i know that another youtuber she really checks out the stitching so if you're interested in that i don't know that much about clothing but there you go and then it is polyester cotton spandex so 60 percent polyester 35 cotton five spandex hand wash wash inside out do not bleach that's about it so anyway, I thought that was really cute. And as it's starting to warm up, it will be a great addition to my walking clothes. I don't have an outfit for Bella, but she doesn't really need it. She's probably jealous. Okay, the next item is in plum red. It's the closest color I could get to the bag. And it does, it does pretty well match it. So. This is another thing to help me in my travels. It's got a couple strings oh, coming off it, which are easy to cut. So that's the sewing on it. It just needs a little help. Um, but it is just a little hook. So it comes apart like this. Okay, you can change the length of it, but it is to attach anything you want to your luggage. So. If I've got, you know, a little uh, purse or something I'm carrying with me or a backpack or maybe I purchased something in the airport and I have bags, I don't want to carry them. So I can hook this to the handle of my luggage or I can hook it to the top of my suitcase, anything like that. So it's just another way to help me get through the airports. Um, I travel a lot alone, so um, it's just me dragging all this luggage through the airport and any of these little doodads um, that will help make my life easier will be greatly appreciated so we'll try those out on my next trip which unfortunately I don't have planned yet um, I think closer to the end of June gosh I can't believe it's gonna be June and just a couple days it's, well tomorrow's June for me um, it'll already be June when you're seeing this but anyway I have a trip planned to um, visit my son in Knoxville um, potentially so it's about I think 11 12 hour drive depending on how many semis are on the road and um, uh, we're just gonna hang out and do things so the next one I saw it was very inexpensive I'd had it on my wish list that's another thing you could put things on your wish list um, when you go into an item up on the top right corner um, there's a little heart up there if you click that it'll put it on your wish list one thing I've noticed though, is be careful once you click that it automatically brings up this other little box and it's got a black heart in it if you don't unclick that when the item will automatically go into your cart when you start your next cart so your next order the item will automatically go in there without you having to do anything I don't want it to do that so I always take that the black heart off but the initial heart I click unclick the black heart and then it puts it in my wish list and I can always go down and see things in there another good thing is if it's in your wish list and Timu sees the price drop it will send you a text and say hey that item you like price has dropped and then you can make a decision as to if you want to purchase it or not 
Um, I've started having a little bit of issues with night driving and with a long 12 hour drive I do to see my son or different drives. Um, driving at night I wanted a little help so I saw these again like I said and they were very inexpensive. I think they were just three dollars I think. Again I'll try and put it below. Now they're made very chintzy. They're plastic. Um, yeah they're not very you know high end but they're the yellow. Hello. They're the yellow frames that are supposed to help with night vision. Oh, extremely light because they're made of this just plastic, but extremely light. And oh, oh it makes my computer screen better. Um, but uh, I'm hoping to see how they work at night. So the next time that I do a night drive, I will let you know if they helped at all. They're supposed to help with, you know, how when the lights come at you, they kind of rainbow out and, and different things. So. I'm hoping that this helps, but be very careful with them because like I said, they're not made very well. Um, but uh, another thing to get, you could get for them, they probably have, oh, I'm sure they have glasses cases on Timu, um, but also at Dollar Tree, they have some nice um, sunglass, eyeglass, uh, protective little cases. Um, you can put things in and keep this in your car. I'll keep it in my car bag, so. <laughs> It'll always be there for me. See? I am justifying that car bag. I tell you. <laughs> um, even though it was like $3. Oh, we're at our last item. Is that not the saddest sound ever? I know. It's sad. It's sad. Um, I, some people can wear hats and look amazing. I'm not one of those people. But I'm still not giving up. So... When I go on my walks, I, I know to wear sunglasses. If you don't know, the sun um, contributes to cataracts and stuff. So um, I have a different eye issue. Uh, I have glaucoma that I've had, my doctor thinks, since I was a baby. Um, but uh, when I had to have surgery on that, it instantaneously almost, like within days, caused a cataract. Um, so I had to have surgery to remove the cataract and then when I got the other eye glaucoma surgery done they just automatically did the cataract surgery so I don't have to worry about that but people who um, have to still worry about that um, always wear sunglasses the sun contributes to the growth of the cataracts so always wear sunglasses eye protection even if you don't think it's that sunny out just get different shades um, and then I try and wear something a sun visor or something on my head to keep the sun off my face I got a little sunburned just driving in, in my car doing my Uber Eats so I gotta put sunscreen in my to-go bag but uh, this hat um, there's nothing on here that says anything about it but I just thought it was cute and again it was just a few bucks and I just thought you know I'm a bling girl and so we'll go with bling so it looks like they're a little a little misaligned but but otherwise pretty good a little bit there and then that butterfly i thought was just nice and blingy and cute it's got the adjustable strap it comes with a little plastic thing to keep the shape pretty nice so even though that bag was squished the hat looks pretty good um as you can see not really a hat person but I don't know if the plastic in there. But anyway, um, well, that doesn't look horrible. Anyway, be kind in the comments, okay? But, so, so anyway, I thought it was cute. Be a little blinged out. Have some fun. Um, you know, I, I've learned that with age, and and I really learned it while traveling alone. Um, I've, I've been with people. I went with family to, uh, I went, first of all, I went with uh, Girl Scouts, my Girl Scout troop. Um, we sold enough cookies to pay for the whole trip and we went to, on a Mediterranean cruise on Carnival. Amazing. I saw Pompeii, I saw uh, Rome, and I saw, you know, um, uh, Monte Carlo, and it, it just everything it was beautiful. And it just, changed my perspective on life when I saw these things that have been there for thousands of years and it's still there and and just the people are so kind and the food was so good it was also fresh and amazing and it was just an amazing experience and it started to change my life perspective a bit to enjoy everything that I saw to not think about the thing like we were coming back in Rome to the ship. We did our tours by ourselves. Uh, there was a guy, I think his name is 
Rick Steves, something like that. Um, but he does books on different countries and how to travel. And he tells you like, you know, get off the cruise ship here and go down this street and catch this bus number. And then that'll take you to here. And then you can take this train and you can plan all your trips alone without excursions, which are really expensive. So I did, uh, we did like ex trips and went and saw the Coliseum and all that kind of stuff for so inexpensive. Um, but we went to the Trevi Fountain and then we saw the Spanish stairs and then we realized Oh, crud, we are late to get back to the ship. We finally found the train station. Everything was not in English, so we finally found our train. Anyway, we, we got back very late. So we exited the train station. We caught a cab, and I told the cab driver, do you see that ship over there? We need to get to Carnival. We're late. And so we took off at just a regular pace, and I said, dude, do you see the smoke coming up off that ship? That's our ship, so we really need to get there. And he just put the pedal to the metal, took us to the ship, and as we were running to get on the ship, as the last people to get on the ship, the entire side of the ship was full of people who were laughing at us and waving and clapping, and and I guess they announce your names if you're late for the ship because they're trying to find you to see if maybe you made it on without scanning your card, and so everybody knew our names, and the rest of the crews, they'd come up to them and go, you were the guys that were late, right? You were the one... So it was quite funny. But anyway, um, I learned to, to look at that with joy, to look at that as funny, um, to not, we weren't stressed. We were just kind of, oh, we're late. Oh, this is hysterical. And we were laughing as we were doing this, knowing that it is Europe. I could have took a train or something and met the ship at the next stop. It wouldn't have been a disaster like a Caribbean cruise would have been, but Find the joy in everything. Um, I know some things are really hard, and I understand that, and, and grieve or or experience the bad things, but then immediately try and find the good things, even if it's something so tiny that you can that you can just grasp onto and find the joy in. I find the joy in her, um, that happy, um, pit bully smile face makes my day. The way she runs to the door and greets me makes my day. So find the little things. So bling makes me happy. Bling makes other people happy. I like bling. Um, anything you can do to bring joy to your life, do that. Find the joy um, in the littlest things and you'll realize that you'll start to change. Um, and when I went to Greece, I did a two week uh, tour of Greece by myself. I planned it all by myself. I had the most amazing time. If you need tips, let me know. But just the pace of their life and the joy they find in everything and the beauty of the places. Uh, Santorini was, oh, I can't even express how beautiful it was. Uh, Mykonos, oh yeah, yeah, gorgeous. Um, it was all amazing. I wish I had been doing YouTube at the time and had taken videos, but I, I wasn't. Um, I took pictures, but not videos, but it's just, oh my God, it's amazing. And it just, when I came back, I brought that peace back with me and I brought that love of life back with me. And I, and not that I don't fail at it at times, but I try and do that all the time. And I hope you can, I hope you will enjoy life. Put some bling in your life, put some joy in your life. I hope you enjoyed this little video. Um, please again, subscribe if you feel like it, that would help me out immensely. Uh, share it with your friends would be great. Like, Please hit the like button if you liked me and um, comment, comment if you can. Comment also helps people get pushed up a little bit to be viewed more on uh, YouTube. And um, not that I'm trying to be a YouTube star or anything, but um, I want to feel like I'm talking to someone and not just myself or Sleeping Beauty. So <laughs> again, I hope you enjoyed this. Um, have a great day. Find the joy in something. And the joy I'm finding today is in talking to you guys and knowing there's somebody out there listening and somebody out there enjoying my videos. So again, have a wonderful day. That's it for Deb School Finds, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.